In this video, I'm going to int introduce you to the white ant electronics, and I'm also going to show you how to connect it. In the white ant electronics kit, you will receive an Arduino 2560, an extruder controller, a main board that is it acts like a shield for the the Arduino, and four stepping motor drivers. These are 2.5 amp stepping motor drivers, end stops or limit switches. You'll have cables that connect the limit switches to the the main board and you'll have um, three of those and you'll have four motor wires. I'm going to demonstrate the placement of the electronics using just this small mock-up of a of a white ant. Just this portion of it, these are the side pieces. This is the x-axis rail and this is the back plate. You have the option of putting the electronics on the back of this back plate or within this small area. All right, to demonstrate the proper mounting, I'm going to take this portion off. I'm going to be mounting the electronics in the inside. I only have four screws here, but this is only to keep it together. You'll, probably, you'll want to use all the screws that you have available when you're putting it together. The white ant electronics were made especially for mounting in this location. And while, the, while I was designing the white ant electronics, um, I made it so that when you plug all this stuff together, it would get pretty close to the two sides, but you'd still have a little bit of room, maybe an eighth of an inch to spare. It's good to lay it out first. You don't want to um, plug this all the way in, but get it enough into these, um, the shield into the, the headers that it'll be placed accordingly. And then just put in one of the, the motor drivers. And you're going to want to see if there's any conflict. So it looks like we have a good amount of space. It's about an eighth of an inch on either side, maybe a quarter of an inch actually. And once you're, you're happy with the placement, you have many options for mounting. You'll have all of these holes. On, we have three holes on each stepping motor driver. You have holes on the Arduino. And there's many of the holes that are located where there is actually wood present. So you have these two holes. And with all of the holes with the um, stepping motor drivers, everything will be very stable. Once you've located where you want the, the electronics placed, just um, take a pencil and mark the locations of the holes. And I would recommend uh, creating a pilot hole first for each one of the, the screws that you're going to be using. And it's best to use number four wood screws, about half of an inch in length. So this will be mounted to this, this back plate. I wouldn't mount this yet. Just go ahead and plug these in like shown here. There are male headers here and there's a female header on this location. And this keeps, this eliminates the need to run a wire from the stepping motor drivers to the main board. And this is actually for a fifth axis. You don't really need this one unless you want to do something else with the machine add another axis for other functionality and then you have have them all plugged in like this and then you can go ahead and once this is mounted on the board plug it into the Arduino like so I'm not plugging it all the way because it's really difficult to get out and now once this is um, properly seated in the Arduino you can go ahead and mount each one of these stepping motor drivers Okay, this is the Z-axis rail support, and this, once you have the rails on and the extruder, you would be adding the extruder controller in this location, and you would mark for the holes and drill pilot holes and use the number four wood screws to put this in. Okay, once you're ready to mount this back on the frame, you can put it on in this fashion, or you can turn it around and have the, the frame on the back with the electronics exposed. It might be easier to hook everything up if you put the electronics exposed on the back, but if you don't want to see the electronics, if you like a, a cleaner look, then you can go ahead and put it in, the, in, the, in this particular space. Okay, we're going to plug the computer into this slot. This is the Arduino, and the USB plug goes in this slot. You'll have power going into here. This is the positive and number one, and negative and number two, or ground and number two. You'll connect a, an Ethernet cable from this location to the extruder controller. You'll have motor wires coming from these positions from the stepping motor drivers to the motors. 
and the limit switches will be connected to these headers using these cables and these are the limit switches. This is the X stepping driver, Y stepping driver, Z stepping driver and the extruder stepping driver. Once you have the motors placed where you need them to be placed, as per the other videos, the wiring scheme is this, and this is, I wouldn't recommend wiring it like this. This is just for my own purposes. I twisted it like this and then put it together. But um, I would use the, um, the method that I use in the other videos with a J hook, where you're taking a, um, the, the part of the wire and you're hooking it around another piece of the wire here, and you solder it together with a heat shrink around that. You'll have number one, number two, number three, and yellow being number four. You should be able to see it. If you, if you can't see the numbers on the wire, then you may have to expose more wire from, from this, um, take some more insulation off. And in this, you can see this is number three, number two, number one, and then this would be number four. And you want the blue wire to go to number one. The red wire goes to number two. The green wire goes to number three, and the black wire goes to number four. And the extra white and yellow wires are not used. If you look at the data sheet, the coil from the black to the green is connected and from the red to the blue is connected. And the blue and red, green and black are the only ones that are needed to connect in this scheme. And you, you, won't, you don't want these wires to touch each other because they belong to separate coils. You want to keep these wires separated. But you can cut these short and put caps or heat shrink on the ends so they don't have a possibility of, of touching any other part of the machine or any of the wires. When you're plugging in the motor wires, you're just going to plug it in in this way. You'll have a, a catch here and you'll have a catch on the stepping motor driver. And you just plug it in so these two come together and you won't be able to um, take them apart. To connect the e-stops or the limit switches, you'll notice that there's a one on the headers. There's a one on each of these headers. You are provided with three of these, one for the X, one for the Y, and one for the Z movements to, um, for the homing positions, not for the extreme positions. Or the X minimum is the very first set of headers. The X maximum, and that's the next set. The Y minimum is the third set. The Y maximum is the fourth set. The Z minimum is the fifth set. And the Z maximum is the sixth set. And these three headers are for the E-stop, if you want to put an, um, an E-stop button. So when you're plugging in the, the cables for the limit switches, the red is always going to go to the one side. This would be for the X minimum, for instance. And then on the, the actual limit switch board, the red would go also to the one. There's a little one you'll see on the right-hand side if you're orienting it this, in this direction. And it would plug in like this. Okay, when you're plugging in the Arduino, you just use the, a plug like this. This is a USB, the larger of the USB um, connectors. And you plug it in there. You're going to take a generic adapter, which is 12 volts output. 12 volts, this is 2 amps, it's good to get um, at least 2 amps for output. This is generally um, the accepted norm. And this is just for uh, some device that I had, but you can get it. Get these power supplies for laptops um, in quite a few different electronic stores. So I would get a laptop uh, type of um, power supply. Take the end and you can expose the, the wires from the power supply. And you want to take the, fi or the, the 12 volt side and put it in this terminal and the ground side to this terminal. You'll also want to take the 12 volt and ground and you're going to be plugging it into the extruder controller as well. I would take a little bit more wire than this. This is about a foot and a half maybe. You'd want um, uh, maybe three feet of wire or two feet because it needs to go from the main board to the extruder controller that's going to be on the front of the, the machine. On the extruder controller, it is already labeled 12 volts and ground. To connect the extruder controller to this main board, you just take an Ethernet cable, plug it into the, the RJ45 jack, and you plug the other side into the, the RJ45 jack for the extruder controller. You don't need to plug anything into this connector unless you're uploading an update on the firmware for the extruder controller. But as it's shipped, it should have the latest firmware that's compatible with this board. 
When connecting the thermocouple wire to the extruder controller, you want the red side to go into T minus and the green side to go to T plus. And when you're putting in the heater, you'll have a, the heater like this, or you'll have the resistor heater. It doesn't really matter which um, terminal you use for the positive and negative. You're just gonna uh, put one wire into the, this terminal and another wire into this terminal. Okay, you'll also notice that there are a few other headers on these boards. You have this header, this is only used for um, other uses. You don't really need to use it for the white ant um, at this point, but it's there if you want to expand the functionality of the electronics. Okay, to run these stepping motors in 1-8 micro-stepping mode, you want to make sure that the dip switches are, are set to the 1-2 position. And it's away from where it shows the, the model number. And you'll notice that it's the same way on each one of these. 